Good day everyone and to our beloved audience. Today we are going to discuss the site of the first mast. Is it really in Limasawa or is it in Masao? Join us as we tackle and explore the roots of our Christianity. Where did the first mass happen in the Philippines? Is it in Limasawa or Masao, Butuan? This was a controversy regarding the site of the first mass ever celebrated on Philippine soil. Pigafera stated that it was held on Eastern Sunday, the 31st of March, 1521, on the island called Mazawa. Magellan ordered a mass to be celebrated which was officiated by Father Pedro Valderrama, the only priest then, conducted near the shore of the island. The first Holy Mass marked the birth of Roman Catholicism here in the Philippines. Today, this site is widely believed by many historians and the government to be Limasawa off the tip of Southern Leyte. However, until at least the 19th century, the prevailing belief was that the first Mass was held in Butoan. In the account of Pigafetta, Gomez noticed that he failed to mention some points of the journey where the Masses were held. One example is when they were at the port of San Julian. Pigafetta stated that the Mass was held on Palm Sunday, which was on the 1st of April 1520, during their voyage to the west but never mentioned Easter Sunday. The same situation happened when the fleet arrived in the Philippines. Pigafetta only others the Easter Sunday Mass, while he is silent on Palm Sunday. On the other hand, in the account of Francisco Albo, he did not mention the first Mass in the Philippines, but only the planting of the cross upon the mountain top, from which could be seen three islands to the west and south, where they were told that there was much gold. This also fits the southern end of Nimasawa. To end the conflict for the controversy of the first mass, the National Historical Commission of the Philippines, or NHCP, panel adopted the recommendation and anonymously agreed that the evidence and arguments presented by the pro one advocates are not sufficient and convincing, enough to warrant the repeal or reversal of the ruling on the case by the National Historical Institute. It is further strengthened by the evidence that it was only up to 22 years in 1543 when a Spanish expedition led by Ruy Lopez de Villalobos landed in Mindanao. According to Dr. Antonio Sanchez de Mora, an expert on Spanish medieval history and head of the reference service at the Archivo General de Indias in Seville, Spain, Limasawa is an island municipality in southern Leyte, is a small yet flourishing town. On Easter Sunday, March 31, 1521, the first documented Catholic Mass in the Philippines was held. It was led by Father Pedro de Valderrama of Ferdinand Magellan's expedition along the coastline of what Antonio Figafetas referred to as Mazawa in his chronicles. Papers, primary sources, and maps from the 16th century confirmed that an Easter Sunday Mass was held on the island of Mazawa on March 31, 1521, and that a cross was constructed on a hill on the island to be visible from afar. Also, Moro organized his documents written throughout Ferdinand Magellan's historic voyage around the world. Survivor reports and testimonies, chronicles, and other primary sources by publishers who interviewed survivors and consulted their documents, maps, and nautical charts, and secondary sources that interpreted the information provided by the primary sources and the testimonies transmitted over time sources into four categories. However, the most comprehensive and credible account of Magellan's voyage was Pigafetta. Antonio Spigafetta's arrival on the coast in 1521 is regarded as the only reliable account. Pigafetta's Masawa was the first Christian mass was conducted on Philippine territory is a historical landmark. Pigafetta's work is important not only as a source of information about the voyage but also as the first 
Western description of the peoples and languages of the Philippines. Pigafetta was one of the only eaten men from the 240 soldiers that accompanied Magellan back to Spain. Based on Francisco Albo's statement, who was one of the 18 survivors to return to Sebastian Elcano, he records the voyage in his diary or logbook as they sailed southward in the Atlantic, following the coast of South America. Masao in Butuan is not an island, although it is located off the southwestern coast of Leyte. Butuan City Barangay located on the Agusan River Delta along the coast of northern Mindanao is a province in the Philippines. In addition, Picafetta's original Italian text was translated into English by James Robertson. The story is most trustworthy since it's faithful to the original text, which has been duly validated by the Department of European Language at the University of the Philippines. To illustrate, here is some evidence that we gathered at the site of the first mass in Limasawa. This is the first Magellan's Cross Monument at Limasawa Island, at the top of a hill beside the shrine, where the replica of the bigger cross was erected. All things considered, the first documented Holy Mass was conducted by Father Pedro Valderrama on March 31, 1521, on Easter Sunday. The said Mass led to the start of Roman Catholicism here in our country which is considered to be the most dominant religion today. Today in the 21st century, determining the exact site of the first mass will help in allowing the church and the government to celebrate and commemorate historical events established on facts. Also according to Malvar, it is really important to know and to understand when and where the first Mass was held. Because that first Holy Mass paved the way for the spread of Christianity, not only in our country, the Philippines, but all over the Asia. As Filipinos, we need to find out the roots of our Christianity. Our country is known as one of the most religious country in the world, and we take pride knowing that the first Mass in the whole Asia happened in our country. This topic tells us how the first mass in the Philippines started and where it happened. This historical event made a big impact in Philippine history. The sources of Albo and Pigafetta helps us understand what transpired and when the first mass was held, and people nowadays have no idea about this controversy unless they are a very religious person. And I believe that we need to know about our history in order to us to understand what has happened in the past and we must value our history because it allows us to learn about our country's culture and beliefs. In conclusion, based on the witnesses, gathered evidence, primary and secondary sources, we can say that the first mass points at Limasawa as the most likely location and not in Masao. In the future, there may be another controversy that may arise regarding this issue. However, one argument still stands. Whether the site of the first mass is in only Masawa, Masao, or any other place, it is still important for us to remember and commemorate this historic event as this signifies the start of Christianity in our country, one of which our faith and beliefs highly revolve on. Thank you for listening. And we hope that you enjoyed our presentation as we briefly journeyed through the roots of Christianity here in the Philippines.